At a time of heightened tensions, with North Korea getting ever closer to completing its nuclear program, Robert Gallucci, the former chief U.S. negotiator who helped resolve the first North Korean nuclear crisis, was in Seoul this week to meet with President Moon at the Blue House. Our Kim Hae-sung sat down with Mr. Gallucci to hear what he and the president had discussed, as well as his insights on North Korea issue. Let's take a look. Thank you for speaking with us today, Ambassador Gallucci. It's been my pleasure. Let me jump straight into some questions. So you met with President Moon this Monday. Can you share with us what you've discussed with him? Uh, I told President Moon that I appreciated his uh, opening and openness mm -hmm. to negotiations with the North. I thought it was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. There are things that the Republic of Korea uh, can address that others can't, including the United States, that when we talk about next steps to integrating uh, North Korea into the international economy, um, economic development. You helped resolve the first North Korean crisis through dialogue during the Clinton administration. Like you said, President Moon wants to solve this crisis through dialogue too. Well, critics say it's pointless to pursue negotiation at this point. What do you think? I frankly don't understand an argument that it's pointless to pursue negotiations. And what's at stake here the, is actually um, South Korean security, uh, life and death for lots of people on both sides of the DMZ. Uh, and I would want uh, there to be absolutely no choice um, at the end of the day other than to use the military force if we had to. But right now, with the U.S. and North Korea locked in a tug of war, how do you suggest we go about starting negotiations? Stop with the preconditions. Meet and then indicate what would disrupt future discussions. Mm -hmm. Tell the other side that. And if they wish to continue, then they'll avoid the behavior that would be disruptive. We're getting mixed messages from Washington. President Trump uh, is maintaining his hardline stance while his aides are hinting at a possible dialogue. Where do you think Washington really stands right now? I would discourage you from thinking that this is an orchestrated policy as sometimes it is sometimes known as good cop, bad cop. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what's going on. I think that the president is being Donald Trump uh, and I think the people who elected him uh, and they are the American people like that about him. Uh, it makes it particularly challenging for the people around him uh, when he says what he thinks mm -hmm. about what they are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is the way the U.S. government now works. President Trump will visit South Korea next month and sit down with President Moon. What kind of message do you think the two leaders should send to North Korea? From my perspective, it is most important that uh, the two presidents uh, send a very clear message uh, to the DPRK that the alliance between Seoul and Washington is solid. They are joined, combined, uh, agreed that a peaceful resolution of the current situation would be the best way to go. Uh, but at the end of the day, both countries, both the Republic of Korea and the United States, will honor their alliance commitment to the other mm -hmm. if their security is threatened. Thank you so much for your time, Ambassador Gallucci. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.